Good morning world from the jungle house. Ella's paid us another visit with her waggly tail. Sasha's already made us a drip coffee. Our breakfast has been provided by the staff here. They made us some chocolate oatmeal. Chocolate oatmeal, yeah, with mangoes. A little pot of brown sugar and some a mocha pot of coffee. Yeah, they used the mocha Fresh pot. Fresh coffee. That's good. I think she just wants to sit out there, Story. She looks quite cosy, doesn't she? We had a really nice sleep last night. You don't need any kind of air conditioning or even a fan here. It gets really cool in the night. I didn't need a blanket, I just had a sheet on. But it was nice. Yeah, it's still not raining yet, so we're going to go and try and see if we can find the river. We're beginning our hike off into the jungle again. We're all out today trying to find the river. We've got our dog guides with us today. Are you going to take us to the river, Ella? Yeah? And you brought a friend today as well. We don't know your name, do we? What could your name be? You're all girls. I'm thinking this is the path to take. It looks like the most trodden. This is probably going to be our dinner tonight. <laughs> Another banana heart. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. Santal tree. Yeah. They're not ready yet though, are they? Yeah. Still green. Luckily it's not too overgrown. There's a cow here. There's no road. There's no road. The road is ending here. Maybe the cow... Oh yeah, I think it resumes here. Hello. We're just passing by. You enjoying your food? We're going to abandon this walk. Yeah. It's too overgrown. It's far too overgrown. The path is kind of not a path anymore. Yeah. Too many mosquitoes. That's right. It's too it, slippery. It looked like it just kept carrying on, carrying on. So you I'm going to. see it from here though. Yeah, I want to scope it out properly because I don't know if I'm on the right path either. Yeah, I feel like there should have been a more direct route because we're going away from it heading yeah. this way. It might so. be too steep though. Yeah. But anyway, abandon. <laughs> Looking at where we are from an aerial perspective, you can see it would have taken quite a while for us to walk that path down to the river. And once we got there, we would have just been met with some rapids. You can see how fast the water's been flowing. It was definitely raining a lot last night. It's gone a bit muddy. It's nice to see, but I don't think it's worth the hike to get down there. To give you a bit of an idea of where we are right now, we are on the west side of Bukidnon mountain range, which is on the border of Northern Mindanao and the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao. What are you doing up there? Is there anything inside the mouth? No. No? There's nothing in there. Look at this. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those for a very long time. I think the last time I saw that was in New Zealand with Mummy before you were born. Actually, I've never seen one. Yeah, look curly whirly. Alright, we're just checking the terrain. Yeah. We've decided. Yeah, we haven't actually explained where we're going yet. We're trying a place out called Lima Sudan Falls, which is like an epic looking waterfall here. But the road terrain is not great. This guy doesn't seem to have a problem, but he's on a motorcycle, <laughs> baby in tow. But looking at the state of the road, we have massive, massive boulders here. We're just trying to weigh up whether we should be going through or not. We might get stuck. It's okay. Yeah, you're making it. I don't think we're far now anyway, I think we need to just go down here and then walk into the forest and then we should see a super super epic waterfall. This place is right on the border between northern Mindanao and the autonomous uh, Muslim Mindanao region so it's like we're on the Christian side and then the other side is the Muslim side but we've spoken to a lot of locals around here and everyone's like saying there's absolutely no problem it's actually quite a big tourist destination. Jun Jun has been looking after us, just kind of like getting the lay of the land. Listen to the sounds the van's making. <laughs> you can just hear the suspension creaking. Well, hopefully, there'll be a little, a little walk and you'll see if it's worth it or not. Right, we're following some of the locals. These guys know where it is. It looks like the road is repaved down here, so we just passed the bad bit. And now we're back on solid ground. So on the map it's called Liman Sudan Falls, but locally it's known as Mindamora Bayuk Falls. This is where we're heading. Story and Mummy are already on the hike. So let's see where we end up. Walking past a little sweet corn farm. Nice. It smells nice actually, it actually smells a bit like corn. 
Or maybe that's just my brain telling me that's the smell. We're just returning to the van right now. There's a little bit of a problem. And so some of the locals here are saying that Talakag tourism have closed the falls, like they're not allowing people to go down there. But people are a bit unsure as to whether it's um, an official order or not. So we're just kind of talking with the guys here, find out if we're actually allowed to go down there. There's quite a few rules actually, if you look at the board here. So looking at the signpost here, it says you have to log in first and also like you have to bring some white cloth, some coins and a wine for a ritual. There may actually be some rituals going on as well that you have to we ask permission. And they will kind of fly a drone. Okay. All right. Because, uh, police, uh, not allowed. Not allowed right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have to follow the rules? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Well, we had to try, didn't we? <laughs> Hello, pretty puppy. What's your name? Look at your muddy paws. I like them. Nice, chunky, muddy paws. <laughs> These guys in the tuk-tuk here, they're also tourists and they're not going in either, so we just have to respect. That's it, we're going to go back now. We're not allowed to go in, I'm afraid. Even adult story, not just kids this time. <laughs> Adults and kids can't go in. How about we stop at the banana fields? Yeah, we saw some yeah. really big banana fields on the way in. We'll go and see those instead, yeah? So we just got stuck trying to get up the hill. These guys helped us, they pushed us all the way up. <laughs> Just checking for any damage on the van. <laughs> June June is really happy. Hi guys. Salamat. Helped us. <laughs> These are the people that helped us get out of the valley. <laughs> yeah. That road really needs to be fixed. <laughs> Look how many people you need to get this van out of the village. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> June June's feeling grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile on Jinjin's face, he's happy. His van didn't get destroyed. <laughs> Even if your mission is not a success, you can have an adventure anyway. <laughs> and this was an adventure. Did you enjoy that adventure? Mum forgot my new work book. It's alright, when we get back home you can do some work, Brooke. Yeah? So when we get home we're going to do a Lego and we're going to do some work. Yeah, make up for the day. <laughs> we did say that we are going to go and see a banana farm though. Yes. Okay, on the way. Because it looks really cool. Alright? Puff Moon! On our way down to the waterfall we saw this banana farm which is absolutely huge. You can see the bags there protecting the fruits. This is probably the biggest banana farm I've ever seen and we used to live on a banana farm when we lived in Thailand. It stretches as far as the eye can see, it's pretty impressive. So the next time you go to your market or your supermarket and you pick a bunch of bananas you can see this is the kind of place that it might have come from. This region here is well known for its bananas, its pineapples and in some places the dragon fruit as well that we already tried the other day. When you step foot in the farm you can see that it just keeps going and going. You could probably drive into here and see how far it is as a vast expanse. It's pretty impressive. This is why you see so many bananas available on the island. It really is lush and I do think they do a lot of exporting from here as well. So I'm glad I came to see this place. When you're traveling these days things don't always go to plan. We know that for a fact now. But you just have to make the most of it, just pick yourself up and carry on, keep touring and see what you can see. One of the bags here has been exposed so you can see it. Check that out. And written on the side of the bag it says Property of Del Monte. Anybody heard of that? One of the biggest banana brands in the world. Even in England we get these. That is pretty cool to know that the bananas that I've been eating ever since I was a child are being grown right here on this farm here in Mindanao. Now I know where they came from, all those bananas I ate growing up. <laughs> Back at the forest house. Is she eating? Yeah. Yeah? On your friend? Yeah. Look at this. Ah. Look at you. Are you using Eden's bowl? Yeah? She's, Eden. <laughs> she is eating like a lizard. She is, <laughs> she is eating like a lizard. Oh, look at you. You must have been so hungry. You enjoying Eden's bowl? Yeah? You wolf it all up. Yeah, if you... oh, yeah, I love it. I think she does, doesn't she? Yeah. And if you've got puppies somewhere, you can fill them up too with your milk. Oh my word. Sash, look at that. How long did that take? 15 seconds? Oh, wow. God, I think it used to take like two days for Eden to get through some food. She's licking it out. Look, she's licking the whole bowl. Did you enjoy that, Ella? Is that tasty? Yeah? Well, you've been so nice to us. You deserve it. Would you like a treat? Do you want to try even super treats? Yeah. They're natural. 
healthy ones. Yeah, it's good for you. She's eating them. She is, she is. That makes me happy. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Tell us what you think of that. That was Eden's favourite. <laughs> oh, you love them all. It's approved. Eden's menu is approved. Good girl. Cinderella. Look at her tail going. That's why Ella, Cinderella. Yeah, I think so. I think you're the Cinderella Ella. <laughs> Someone's busy doing a Lego. How's it going? Good. Enjoying it? Yeah. Keeping yourself occupado? Uh. <laughs> this is going to be our last day in the forest cabin. We're checking out tomorrow morning to go to Strawberry Mountain. The dream. Story is very excited about Strawberry Mountain and we're excited to take her there. <laughs> Luckily we've kind of checked ahead, booked ahead and um, we know there's no restrictions for kids and everything so we're going to be allowed in yeah. unless something crazy happens on the drive. Yeah, we won't have to drive around looking for somewhere to stay tomorrow. Exactly. This particular trip here didn't quite work out as planned. The things that I wanted to do didn't work out but at least we tried and I think one thing I will take away from coming this far into northern Mindanao is that it feels totally safe, totally safe. I feel like a lot of the information and a lot of the advice that has been kind of spread is uh, a bit outdated and really you need to come here to judge for yourself if the area feels okay. We spoke to the owners of this place before we came to find out information and they said they've been living here for like 25 years, no problems and it's safe. So that is the reason why we even considered booking here. Just try, you know, do a bit of research, find out for yourself but don't be scared to try something new, things have changed. The pandemic has not made it easy to travel, this trip has shown us that as well, but we're doing our best and this journey we're taking tomorrow is our kind of route back home. So we're gonna spend a couple of nights in the Strawberry Hills and just hopefully there'll be some strawberries. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be strawberry products at least, but we'll share all of that as we go. So I hope you enjoyed these videos of our little Mindanao adventure. Another big thank you to Eden for everything she's done for us. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.